ninja characters against the Storm King. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Here we go. Enter the portal. Storm King, here we come. Super excited. Are you ready for this chat? Okay, let's do this. Here we go. Stand by for your team to assemble here. Okay. Where the hell are we? We're like underneath the ground. So I guess it's wanting us to get our teammates ready. Okay, so now let's pick our weapons that we need. Blunderbuss, a bow, and a Barret. Are we getting mats? That's probably what we're doing here. I'm so excited, chat. Not gonna lie, this is fucking awesome. So we've got me, Captain Marvel. And we've got this guy. Ooh, this one guy actually has one of the mythic guns. Okay. Then it's in the hands of whoever stayed behind to activate the bomb. If we succeed, we'll live to fight another day. And if we fail, then we've put up one hell of a fight. Fuck yeah, Ray. So let's do our best. Hearing hell in Fortnite is like such a dramatic thing. It's like saying the F bomb. Stand by to transport over to the other side. Here we go. Oh shit, here we go. Oh, there he is, boys! That's the fucking Storm King! Holy shit, he's fucking huge. Yo, what the hell? Here we go. What, do we just fucking lay into him? Fucking shoot him. Yo, chat, what do we do here? Oh, we gotta shoot the crystals. Yo, oh, what the hell? Yo, 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 yo. Okay, shoot the weak spots, okay. Where's his weak spots? Yo! Bring it on, Storm King pussy! We've waited months for this shit! Yes, he is! Okay, there's one on his arm. He looks a lot more meaner than his Battle Royale uh, interpretation. Oh shit! Wow! We're about to kill him already? Yo! Okay, it looks like it gives an indicator of where to go. Okay, um, there is common infected still spawning. Where the hell is this crit spot? Oh, it's his horns! Yeah, everyone's got a melee! Okay, so this is like Battle Royale. Yeah, we gotta melee the horns to death. T teammates, let me up, I'm trying to help you. Got him. Good job, good job, team. Let's hope he stays asleep. Okay, he actually does act a lot like the Battle Royale version. Yo, what the hell? I'm gonna really try my best not to go down here. Okay, Crystal, Crystal, shoot it. Come on. Got him. Is that another Crystal in his chest? Oh, laser beam! Ah! Woo! I have no idea how much health he is. So it looks like it's literally like the, uh, the Battle Royale one. Okay, so that's good. It prepared me for it. So we gotta break his crystals and then melee his horns. I'm pretty sure once we melee his horns, we're good. And the good thing is I have ammo to be, be able to craft. Alright, go for it, chat. We gotta go for it. We gotta melee him. Bring it on, Storm King. Okay, teammates, can you not? Uh, how the hell is this breaking? Okay, my teammates at least did it. Oh, the main ho the main uh, health! Just spam him, boys! Bring it on, Storm King! Hey! Goodbye! Woo! That wasn't that bad after all! But now we have the bomb. It was nice to know you, Ray. What? Over and out. Strike team A, do you copy? Strike team A, do you copy? We're bugging out. What happens? Does Ray actually die? What happens? That that's the mission? That's it! <laughs> 
Chat, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck? Chat, hold on. I'll read all your stuff in a sec, but I really want to know what the hell happened there. That was the fight. That was so, that was so quick. I we we kicked his ass. We literally kicked his ass with the memes. That like we did what we said we would. How much loot does this give you? Oh, that's a little underwhelming. It's probably that guy's mythic. He's probably farming the boss. But either way, we fucking did it, boys. Storm King defeated. But now the important thing is, is after all of this, what happened? What happened to Strike Team A? Because this determines what the hell happens. Ah, shit, man. Ah, uh, why do people have to fucking die? Shit, man! A f fucking heartbreaking deaths in the last two fucking games. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ah. Uh, I didn't even like Desiree, but the way she fucking confessed her thoughts on there was so heartbreaking, man. Oh my god. Shit, man. Ah, that fucking made me tear up a bit. I'm not even, like... That's not even, like, normally like me. I don't even fucking tear up that much. Ah. Both the fucking fill up death and this has actually made me super sad to the point where I've actually got, like, a tear down my eye. Not full-blown crying, but at least sad. Why? Oh my god, that was fucking depressing, dude. Ah. Chat, no. I was not expecting that. Ninja, you better not lose after this, uh, wait, or I will stalk you. Walking simulator, here's the thing. Ninja's finna rage in a second, lol. If you die after a 45 minute wait, I swear. Hey, yo, 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 hey, uh, banana, uh, banana cake may have left, but we got, uh, Mr. Potato in here. What's up, Mr. Potato? Uh, what time you stream until? Never break someone's heart. They only have one. Break their bones. Instead, they have 206 of them. After 45 minutes. Well, that was... <laughs> That was anticlimactic. Wow, what a pussy. Anyway, I'm gonna have to wank maybe two before I go to bed. Right, see ya. And I get to pick the weapon. I don't really have any shotguns, so I'm gonna pick the shoddy. But yeah, chat, sorry that was a little bit anticlimactic. I didn't think it was gonna go by that fast, and sorry for the long wait. But I think the storyline was worth it for sure. Because now, now Desiree's gone. And we got four missions left, and then that's the end. So, did it work? Are we safe? How I wonder what you are. Take a look back and look at things to come. Deploy six telescopes in the 70 plus zone. Jesus, man. Chat, I have no idea what the fuck happened there. That was just nuts. But you know what? It's only 6 o'clock. We started the stream at 4. And for how anticlimactic that was a little bit, and I kind of want to conclude things on the right note. We're going to continue, actually. If anyone's still sticking by with me, we're going to continue to do these missions. We're going to do all of these four, if I can, tonight and wrap up Fortnite Save the World. 
I will very much try to get this done. So 70 plus zone, right? We're gonna, we're gonna get this done. We're gonna end Fortnite because I heard that the cutscene is after time to blast off. So 70 plus zone. Okay, so here we go. But Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. Okay, uh... Let's do the encampments again. I don't even know what to think of that mission, bro. That was nuts. Now it's not even more about, like, the Storm King fight. It's more about the, uh, the aftermath. I really hope that this ending isn't sad. I really hope that we can make a comeback from that ending. Because, like I said, there's four main missions left. We, st we have to do the, uh, the follow-up after what happened with the Storm King. I will say this, is that the Storm King fight, I don't think necessarily that was anticlimactic because of the way it was designed. I think is that, that we were just naturally overpowered. I had stuff you guys gave me, and I was naturally strong, and I've learned the game. So I think, if anything, we're just overly prepared for him. So I think, really, the thing to take away is that we were strong enough that it actually made it easy. But the storyline is what we really were after. And the storyline... Shit, man, that was that that, that got me. I, I think that, to be honest, though, I will say this. I will give Ganon the uh, the f the fight in terms of being a lot more cool over cinematic. But uh, I definitely will give credit to Fortnite. I did like the ending so far. So here we go. Wait, no, that's a sewing machine. This might be for the uh, the one Christmas mission. Okay. Okay, well, where do I find my telescopes then? Okay, they're up there. Good. So let's see what happened to the, the, the mission after the Storm King. So you're the resident creative expert? And also doing the Christmas storyline. But I did just go through a little creative crisis myself. So maybe Ray thought I learned something. Who's this? Yeah. But none of it will do you any good. You gotta find your own way. I was really hoping you had some great creative wisdom, or, hmm. I don't know. That'd be great, but I don't. I think Ray sent me here to tell you you'll find your way. Do you think I will? Of course. Unless the storm hits us first. They kind of already did. Oh, perfect! A sewing machine! So we're gonna rotate between sewing machines and telescopes to get both pieces of dialogue. When does a joke become a dad joke when he leaves and never comes back? Can I join? Hey, Loms, what's up, mate? Commander, there is something I would like you to do. I've placed telescopes throughout the zone. Take a look and tell me what you see. Okay, we'll take a look and tell you what we see. And, uh, yeah, Loms, by all means, you can join. Thank you for also uh, watching, by the way. Uh, I think we gotta go underneath. Yeah, we do. What happened? Please just tell us. Don't make it a game. We did not win. But we are still here. So, none of this was worth it. Desiree died for nothing. Desiree stopped the invasion. Are you ready, Dad? I'm kind of worried whatever I make is going to be garbage. Might be. More than half the songs I write hmm. are pure trash. But if you want to make stuff, you need to make stuff. Even if it's trash. <sighs> Alright. Let's do this. That would suck if Desiree died for nothing. What do you see? Stars. So what do we do now? Fight on. Keep home base safe. Rebuild the world. Okay, this is all the telescopes. How do you start when you're working on a new song or something? I sit down and I start. There has to be more to it than that. I guess I think it's Okay, add my epic uh 
is sick you. Hopefully power level isn't a problem, uh, Loms. If it is, I'll just play with you in my free time and uh, not on stream if that, if that makes any difference because we were having problems earlier too with uh, Banana Cake and his rank. I kind of want to see more about the main storyline, not the side. I think we got everything. Are you fucking kidding me? Figure out what went wrong for me. I don't think it matters. Seems important. So now the AI Venderman's gonna die. Why can't you just give him a fucking new battery? Still more exclamation points, maybe we got more. I'll trust you on that. I'm trying to think of what would be a good joke. What do you see? Oh, hold on. Stars? That's what you see with a telescope. I don't understand this stupid game we're playing. Okay, this isn't working out like I hoped it would. Just try one more time. Maybe two more times. Is that it? Okay, apparently I missed the telescopes. Let me make sure that I'm not missing everything. What do you see? Wanna guess? Please, try one more time. One down. Let's find the next one. The next encampment might be stronger. Make sure your weapons and ammo are ready to go. I think that's it. That it? Yeah, it says telescopes. Two down. Let's find the next one. The encampments are getting stronger. Make sure you're prepared. There it is. Let me let me think. Would be another good cringe joke that I could have with you, uh, uh, Mr. Potato. Uh, if it's just stars, I'm sorry. the storm began when you launched that satellite. None of this would have been possible without you and the commander. You're done, encampment! Hmm. Next one's looking tough. You can do it. So it was us that saved the world because that satellite from the very beginning. That's one. That's good to know. Okay, so that's it. And I'm pretty sure we also finished up the Christmas storyline with this last mission here. Alright, I got I got a cringe joke for you, and this is intentionally cringy. Uh, what did the one back hair name his son? Little Harry. Yeah, I, I know the the door's right here. I'll I'll leave. <laughs> 
always late lol oh hey solid what's up mate oh you just joined oh my god so we just feed uh, the fear of the storm king literally the last mission but uh either way though it's still good to see you man better late than never uh, hopefully you're having a good day good morning to you it's 9 a.m right now it's 6 p.m for me but uh, either way good morning mate yeah, we, ju we just defeated the Storm King. And uh, thanks to you guys giving me a whole bunch of OP fucking weapons, it was actually easy peasy. Like, we actually went through them in a, in a, uh, like a heartbeat. Really, the, the main takeaway was just the, uh, the storyline. So now we're doing the, uh, the aftermath. And Loms, I think that uh, even though you just now got saved the world, I think I have your epic from Battle Royale. We'll, we'll, like, feel free to let me know what your epic is in the comments or in the chat. By the way, if any of you guys are new around here, of course, I always recommend uh, dropping a follow, by the way. If you guys enjoy this type of content and you want to see more walkthroughs like this, like Fortnite Save the World, or see even more crazy games like Among Us, Left 4 Dead, or Call of Duty, definitely make sure you drop a follow, guys. It's always greatly appreciated. Always here to have a whole bunch of fun. Okay, here we go, eat. Oh, fucking lagging. Hey, uh, Saul, you also think you can play with us, mate? You think you can, uh, drop by for a few games? Because this is probably gonna be our last Fortnite stream. Because, uh, I'm, I'm on the, uh, last four missions right now, and I think I just completed this one, so I got, like, three missions left. So if you want to join us for potentially our last stream, then definitely feel free to let me know. Because if we beat this, and now that we've already beaten Zelda, other than the side quest, this is pretty much going to be it for uh, walkthroughs for a while until I can either get the secret ending or I start my other one. I think what we'll do is because I normally do my new walkthroughs on Thursdays and Sundays, and I'll be doing just one at, uh, at a time other than the one special Zelda ending. I think what I'll do is uh, wait till next week to start the new series. I think I'll wrap Fortnite up today if I can, and then on Sunday... Uh, I'll play Zelda just for funsies, trying to once again unlock the secret ending. But then on Thursday, I think that'll be the very first episode of my brand new walkthrough. And then in the background, I'll eventually just add in a uh, the Zelda secret ending episode. My epic is sick D U, and Solid says yes. Okay, cool. Thank you, Solid. Glad to hear. I very much have enjoyed playing this series with you guys. Just once again, thanks for the guns. <laughs> and also all the help, really. Another big fight. Here we go. To be honest, though, I mean, like... Even though Desiree dying sucked... I feel like it could have been a lot more different. You know, like... In, th in fact, one of my things that I'm thinking to myself being like... Is if Vinderman has the core breaking on him... Why didn't Vinderman sacrifice himself? You, like, just genuine question for a second. If Dr. Vinderman AI just realized two hours ago that he was going to die, unless it genuinely was right after the Storm King, why didn't he sacrifice himself if he knew he was going to die? Because if he knew that ahead of time, I'd be fucking pissed. I mean, it could have been us. It could have also been Ray. It could have been anybody else. Because I feel like if any other character would do it, it wouldn't hit as hard. Desiree was kind of like one of the side characters that could have made it work. Because I feel like really the one that would have been the most emotional is if Ray died, or if we died, or if Vinderman died. But I guess Vinderman is going to die. Because I don't know what other character would have enough of an emotional tie. By the way, Solid, I don't know if you want to necessarily take advantage of this, mate, but I highly encourage you to as well. Um, 
my microphone is actually in general chat right now on our Discord. I know you're in the Discord. So if you actually want to talk to me verbally while we're playing together, you can feel free to do so, mate. You can also be on the stream that way. And I think the one thing that I'm looking forward to the most of all about this game and also Zelda is that this game and Zelda Hyrule Warriors, once I'm done with the walkthrough portion, I can just play this in my free time with you guys still if I ever really want to in the future. There's nothing stopping me from doing it again. It's not like the other games where it's just like a one and done. They rushed it through. Yeah, because I was going to say is that Venderman could have sacrificed himself, you know what I mean? Yeah, but the ending definitely did feel forced. Uh, just a little bit. I will say this is that the other ending with uh, Zelda was definitely a lot more satisfying, so far at least. Oh, here's my last bonus encampment. And then after that we've got this mission completed, and then we have three more. In fact, one of them is just going to be a uh, base defense. After this, we've got one more main mission, base defense, and then the rocket. And then the Christmas storyline's about to be over with in this mission as well. So we're literally wrapping things up. Yeah, it's better just to wrap things up than try to make it go to next stream. Plus, also, then it would be less freaky. Because, like, I, I said Fortnite was going to be once a week. And if I did it, like, a last second double day a week, it would mess people up, I feel. Five Isn't Venderman only a software AI? Yes, he is a software AI, but there's nothing stopping the robots from uh, activating the bomb in the storyline. Because if you remember, Ray tried to several times just that her data was corrupting, and so it wouldn't let her be able to set it off. But I don't know if Vinderman's AI was designed differently than Ray, because Ray is a little bit more wonky, such as being like outside of home base, she shuts down. If Vinderman's AI was designed better, Vinderman could have done it. Dr. Vinderman. That's at least the way I look at it, you know what I mean? Oh, shit, the lag. That's it. Hello. Someone talking in the Discord? Oh, hey, what's up, Bloms? For a minute there, it was throwing me off. Hmm? I was just sitting here the whole time listening to you talk in the chat. Oh, thanks, mate. I appreciate you. Thank you for your patience. I'm very happy you got to save the world, buddy. If you're on level, like, uh, 12 or 13, you're probably most certainly going to be a really low level. We might not be able to play together. I at least will give it a chance. But uh, just like, I, I don't know if you were in here earlier when I was playing with uh, Banana Cake and we're having the level issue. But, uh, well, okay. Because I was going to say, is earlier when I was trying to party up with people, I was trying to party up with Banana Cake, but his level didn't match. But uh, what I wanted to let you know is that uh, since you're such a low level and I'm close to the end of the game, it might not let us play. That is unless Saw, when you join, if it like kind of counters it because you're such a ho overly high level that you might be able to help me be able to play with Loms and we can all play together, the three of us. But uh, if the level difference doesn't match up, buddy, and we can't play together, for the sake of the storyline, what I'll politely say, and just keep in mind, I'm going to say this as respectfully as I can, I would pro politely decline my offer and retract about playing with you today, and I'll wrap up the storyline by myself. But in my free time, I can always go back to this game and just play with you for funsies. Is that cool? Okay, yeah, it's fine. Okay, because... Yeah. Because otherwise, uh, the people on stream would have to uh, worry about not being able to have the storyline finish. And speaking of that, here we go. Commander, Dr. Vinderman prepared a message for you shortly before he died. Oh, really? So Which how I should have mentioned. Uh, how just one moment, buddy. Sorry. Shifting into low power mode apparently sounds like dying. I was going to say you sound like you're dying. Don't do that to me. There is a solution. On the wall? You're supposed to know what that means. We do not. No, we do not. Is unfortunate. Dude, stop teasing me. Was very certain you would know what that means. Nope. You should really figure out what that means. Yeah, I got it. Was that all he had to say? Yes. 
but I can predict what he would have said if he was here. Oh, yeah? Lars, play me cold. You got it, Dr. B. Damn, do we have fucking two? <laughs> like, even though Dr. Vinerman never died, he lived through this AI. Just seeing him go fucking sucks. <laughs> That's it? Okay. Stand and fight. Steel Wool has reunited. Search the zone for their latest single. Oh, we're finally listening to it. Oh, and it looks like you actually get to keep it. Stand and fight. That's a diss track. Oh, that'd be kind of cool if we got to listen to it and keep it. Hell yeah. So, stand and fight. So, we've got stand and fight, and then we've got Candy Valley, Storm Shield Defense 6, and then time to blast off. So, th th this is like all like last second missions. So, Solid, I will invite you. Uh, and then... Uh, Lums, I don't know if I gotta add you. Let me see. Uh, I'm level 14. Uh, what was your name again? It was S I N K D space. It was just sick D. Yeah. Just sick and the letter D, all one word. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Hold up, I'll go on Twitch and type it. Hold on. Because I'm adding an account that looks like your name. Uh, we can play with Loms on a private match? Okay, I'll switch to a private match. No. It's after that, it's space and then you. So, sick, D, space, U. So, it's the word sick with the letter D attached to it, space, spelling out Y-O-U. Um, no, it's synced. Synced? Can, here, type it in the chat. Because okay. it's better if I look at it. Thank you for being patient, by the way, buddy. Okay, I just typed it. Synced D-U. Yeah, that's what I meant. That, that's what I was saying. So, synced... Uh, sync D space U. Xbox Live? Yeah. Yep. Uh, press on the DLC Misfit Toys. We can do a long side quest main missions. I think I actually already did that. I was doing that actually already on the side solid, not gonna lie. Here, I'll invite you. I don't know if I have to be on your, your account, but, uh, let's take a look at this for just a second. I think I already did this. Everyone? Ah, oh, sock monkey. She's magnificent. She's not a monkey brain surgeon or something, right? <laughs> Just a monkey, and also a sock. Um, and what a monkey she is! She's real nice, Ted. You think so? Well, she's a freak. <laughs> and an abomination. But she's welcome at my tea party um, any day. You'll have to invite me sometime. Is she the defense attorney? I'm her tank. And should she ever have space related needs, oh, that's that my really space good vehicle skill. is always available. Good job, Ted. There you go, Ted. Yeah, I already finished it. So yeah, I already did that following enough that you mentioned that, uh, solid. That American accent is gold. Thank you. Solid, do you need me to be in your uh, lobby or vice versa? Because I don't know how I'm going to go through my main story if uh, if uh, I'm not host, so. No, I'm such a bot. Alright, I invited both of you guys. Alright, solid's in here, good. Sweet. Uh, we just need you in here, buddy. Okay, I'm joining now. Now, see, the thing is, though, right, is that these last three missions have been, like, the course of, like, one one game. Like, that's good. This one, I feel like, was gonna be spread across multiple games, but it looked like it got us in one game, which is good. I'm glad they, they didn't put us on a cliffhanger mix up to do two missions. 
But Stand and Fight is fine, just the music track. This is just the Storm Shield defense, and then this is time to blast off, so... We'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I have, like, two gold guns. I used to have three, but I got scammed. It just says, find we Steel Wolves demo disc in a 70-plus zone, so this is not map-specific. Okay, we'll be a good one. Um, Let's do it in... Did I join... Yeah, you're in the lobby, and uh, you are able to play with us. It's just that you're underpowered, so when you're in our lobby, you're going to be having a hard time killing the zombies, and they can have a very easy time killing you, so what we'll do is we'll give you some I stuff. I do have two gold weapons, because I did a trade with somebody, so... Uh, we're going to do a single Atlas mission. This should be easy, because this really doesn't require you to kill a lot, Loms. Uh, nice, uh, nice how you like how you got the green arrow skin, by the way. Um, but yeah, with this mission in particular, buddy, um, this is just, uh, defending a single, like, area. So you will have to defend against zombies, or you can just kind of run around while me and Sal take care of that predominantly. But, uh, you don't have to worry about killing too many things. Not like it's a destroy the encampment mission or something. Okay, so we just gotta find the tape. Here's hoping that it will be an exclamation point, therefore meaning I can get to it. Whenever we get in, I'll show you the guns I got for the trade. Okay. Yeah, uh, me and Solid uh, can actually gift you some stuff. I, I mean, it's up to Solid if he wants to do it, but I'll at least give you some of my stuff because I got plenty from everyone. I don't mind sharing the wealth. But uh, I'm going to be taking a break from this game, and I know you just got the game, so it'd be more in your best interest to have it. So I can probably just gift you a couple guns. And these guns are, like, overpowered, but they will break eventually, so make sure you use them sparingly. I had one. I, I had that one sword, but it broke. Okay, I'm in. Okay, dialogue. Just one sec, buddy. Okay, that I got a golden. Yeah, you got a level the level one thirty. And I got wait no, it's the same one. It's the same one, yeah. You might have got multiple guns. And ladies and gentlemen, solid quest is over here with a head randomly strapped onto his back. Don't mind him; he's just murdering everyone. And then you got the one sword. Yeah, I can give you these, buddy. Um, I can give you. Just for funsies, I can give you, uh, what, what would you get use out of? Here, buddy, I will give you a blunderbuss. I will give you a sniper rifle. I will give you... give you a LMG because I, I have plenty of these and then I will also give you yep, and then I will also give you one of my assault rifles again Oop, that's the wrong button that's fine I'm just trying to make sure you get your, your weapon but yeah uh, there you go buddy so that should at least help you be able to defend yourself now we gotta find the atlas and also the disc so let's wrap up the story, ladies and gentlemen. We've only got a few more missions left in this. Here's the Atlas. Yeah, you gotta be very careful, buddy. They'll, like, one-shot you because you're such a low level on my lobby. You're, you're playing, like, you're, you you skip the storyline, so you're, you're in a mission that you're, like, uberly weak against when you should be higher. Nice work. Okay, I think... So, Solid, if you want to do me a favor uh, while while we're uh, playing this mission here, you can either A, help me look for the disc, or you can end up protecting uh, Lams while I look for the disc, because we don't have to start the mission right away since it's just an atlas. Ooh. Come on, man. Grab the fucking blue glow. There we go. Okay, got it, chat. Ow. Uh, we're gonna skip the storm chest just because it's just me and Solid uh, in a lobby right now. Okay. Just try to run away from them, buddy. Oh yeah, it's the zombie apocalypse. What were you expecting?
Well, that's not the type of zombie apocalypse we're in. These ones uh, do smart things. They, uh, they're like mutations, so wrong, wrong apocalypse. Wait, oh, there's an exclamation point behind me. I think that's the disc. I'm going to keep that on my map. Yeah, there's a disc over here where I am. Do not move. I will pick that up actually shortly. I think I found it. Oh, what the hell is this? Come on out. Yeah, I found the demo disc. Okay, everyone be quiet for just one second. I'm going to listen to the demo disc. I love also this poster, by the way. Not gonna lie, this is, like, super cool. Just sh a little bit a second, buddy. Just trying to listen to something. Oh, is that, is that all the dialogue? <laughs> I guess we have to listen to the dialogue at the end of the mission, but, uh, you can speak now, buddy. I just wanted to listen to the dialogue, that was all. Hmm? I'm stuck in this canyon. Buddy, where are you? Are you... You're that arrow back there. Here, follow, follow me, buddy. You're, you're lombs. I'll, I'll save you. Come over here, bud. There is a big zombie. Yeah, we'll, we'll, me and Solid will take care of him. Th thank you, uh, Solid, for protecting him for a second. I was just trying to find the demo disc. Yeah, but me and me and Solo will primarily do a lot of the killing. We just need you kind of to do a, bit, a little bit of a killing as well, but predominantly just guarding the base. If you could do builds, that'd be appreciated. There we go. Now, Solid, one of the questions I also wanted to ask you, by the way, mate, is that uh, I still have my one character voucher, and I remember a long time ago you said to get base Kyle. I could still get base Kyle. Uh, do you think I should still do that now, or do you think I should just save it? I'm just curious. Like, what's your advice? Oh, I thought that was somebody that was in the lobby just, uh, No, you can spawn in a bot to protect you if you're uh, playing with a uh, smaller capacity. The lobby goes up to four, and if you have less than four, you can spawn bots. They're called survivors. <gasps> oh, yeah, I have like a cutscene. Cutscene? Cutscene for what? Uh, you don't need a ticket to get base Kyle. Only Flux. Really? Huh. Okay. Uh, if you could clarify if that's, like, legendary or epic Flux, maybe it's just, like, as I know there's different rarities of the exact same skin sometimes, but if I got the legendary Flux, would that give me the legendary version of him? I don't know what to do with it. Uh, you're supposed to put it up on the statue. Legendary Flux, yes. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind, but uh, don't worry about that right now, buddy. It's just a thing that allows you to be able to rescue people. We're, we're uh, focusing on this right now. Okay, now I'm going to also use my traps. I'm not going to use that many because the next thing is the storm shield defense. I want to save them. Plus, also, just if I ever want to go to twine. But uh, let me make my own at least. If I ever do go to twine, though, I am kind of low on traps. I just have the floor and the wall okay. and the ceiling kind of like on small minimums. Crap ton of zombies so let's craft some of these. And then also, let's craft some of these. Okay, there's zombie. Wait, is that gold? <laughs> oh, I have a. Yeah, these are rarity. Like the, you know, there's rarity for all the uh, things we're placing down. Thank you, Solid, for placing some of these down. By the way. Okay, I thought those were gold weapons, but no, it's just a crap ton of zombies. Yeah. Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna carry you. <laughs> just just stay near us and, and then you'll be fine okay I'm gonna make the uh, boom boxes go in this direction like in a, in a square shape oh, oh I'm such an idiot
So, like, where do you get the weapons? Do you have to craft them, or, like, do you find You them? earn them and craft them. Basically, what you get is you get a weapon blueprint, and then as you rank up, you can upgrade that weapon blueprint, making it stronger. So, for example, just because a uh, weapon you may get might be weak at first doesn't mean that it can't be improved later. You want to look at the stats, because that's the important part. So, for example, if I got you through this mission, because you are naturally going to get better loot, because you're playing on a much higher mission... Uh, so what's going to happen is that when you get a, a schematic, for example, for whether it be a trap or a gun, uh, basically uh, you have to upgrade it to make it better. It's not just default good, unless someone just gifts it to you, that is. Alright, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, so here the, we go. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna make my way just like over here and try to shoot. If you want, if you want to contribute to helping me, yeah. you can just uh, shoot with the guns we gave you. But uh, other than that, you can also just build around. Yeah, me and Sal will primarily take a lot, I care of a lot of it. What makes me mad is how like in some of the missions, all the huts they just ganged up on you. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Well, the idea is to rank up in hordes, so. It's funny, Solid knows the spawns of the game at this point. Like, he didn't even have to block here. Like, for me, I would be paranoid. I'd be like, okay, if I play straps here, they'll just come from the opposite direction. But no, he's just like, oh, I know the spawns, so they're not going to come there. I don't need to play straps there. That's actually a really good thing to know. Optimize your amount of ammo and crap you use. Got the smasher. My best advice to you, Loms, is that as I'm going to be closing out the series sometime soon with Fortnite and then you're about to get started, the best advice I can give you the, the, throughout the whole thing I've learned is that traps are a godsend. Yeah, like You'll eventually want to make more traps rather than you will guns. Because your guns will be useful, but if you have multiple zombies come from multiple flank routes and you're also going to be eventually running out of ammo, you're going to need traps there because traps don't break. Like, traps, unlike weapons, uh, they don't break. So, if you place them, like, for example, in your storm shield base, they'll stay there forever unless you move them. And if you use them on a mission, unless the zombie, you know, like, hits it at an angle that it can't defend itself, then they'll break it. But they're usually unbreakable, and that's why they're more important to have. I'm pretty sure, honestly, chat, like, you know, even when I'm done with the series, you guys will continue to play the series, and I encourage you guys to play with each other, you know? Maybe you guys will end up playing Save the World past me and be like, hey, John, I got to Twine Peaks thanks to you, like, like you know, something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I just added the stock. You know, so I'm going to dance with you because I, cause I think I'm at that level where I can appropriately be cocky and walk around dancing. <laughs> I, I think I'm at that tryhard level now that I can dance in the middle of war. Oh, but I will revive you, of course, though. <laughs> Me and Solid are just dancing in the middle of fucking the zombie apocalypse, and Lom's just like, I'M DYING! What the heck is this exclamation point? Did I miss the side quest? I'm just gonna say this husk over here ate way too much beef jerky and be done. <laughs> oh, this is for you. This is a sample. Oh. Because I'm, I'm doing all your side quests. Okay. Let's see. Matt, me idiot. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, he's mad. 
See, the one thing that's going to be a little bit weird going into my next walkthrough, since it's going to be a horror game, it's going to be a single player game, you guys aren't going to be able to carry me. <laughs> it's going to be so awkward. It's going to be like, uh, what do I do? Unless you guys just give me advice, that is. We only need to survive less than three minutes, and then we've got the Storm Shield defense of Candy Valley, and then we've got time to blast off. Yeah, those are uh, traps that makes the zombies dance. Ah, uh, my boombox went away. Oh, my ass screws again. Okay, there's a husk coming up on me. Oh, I, I don't even have any screws. Hey, uh, solid mate, you want to hook me up one last time with a pair of uh, nuts and bolts or screws? I could, I could kind of use them. If I wouldn't die by stupid bone throwing, no home over. This is probably the last time I ever need him. I tried to make him last, I promise. Thank you. Thanks, friend. I got you, buddy. Salwa has basically been like my portable Home Depot, and I love it. Thank you. Let me fall. Okay, never mind. Don't come at me. Because <laughs> I don't think there's anything I would need last second. I got plenty of screws now. I never did use these crystals, though, because I never did make a gun. I got barrels. No home. Overgrown. Guard no. Tasty chicken. Looking self. Off of me. I swear. I think I'm good now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch back to my melee weapon for one sec. Uh, that's actually not something I need here. Let me no, okay. put one melee weapon. Okay. And then... Please tell me why they're targeting me. Well, you're in, their, you're in their line of sight, or their path. Ooh, this is like an energy SMG. This is cool. This will help me save ammo, because I have a ton of energy ammo. Here we go, chat. This energy SMG is pretty cool as hell, though. I'm gonna save my ammo for uh, the next mission because the next mission, my traps from my storm shield will, will kill everything. But uh, on time to blast off, I'll need to use my ammo. Got it. Ya yeah, boy. I don't know what that emote was, but that was cool. Let's go, boys. Alright, so now... What is? Oh, I got you. <laughs> Alright, now we've probably got the dialogue of the demo disc, finally. So we'll need to be hush-hush in just a moment here. But then we've got the last two missions, and the Candy Valley's done. Bye, Candy Valley. Are we returning to home base? Oh, uh, we're not returning to uh, home base quite yet. We're going to go to my home base, but uh, in a second here, I'm listening to the dialogue. So let's see what it was. Let's see what the demo disc is. Rock and roll. Time to give that tape a listen. 
Yep, we get to keep it. Alright, so let's listen to it. Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh, hey, cutscene! Oh, hell yeah! AC. This is awesome, bro! <laughs> this is actually fucking lit, dude! I love this song! Like, yo! Major Oswald, that's what his name was. I always keep forgetting. Dude, I love this! This is so well done of a cutscene after not having one for so long. And I love that view. <laughs> wow, look how far we've come. Look how much of the world we made the, the save from that storm shield compared to the rest of the world. Holy crap. The fight continues at home base. Yo! That was fucking sick! That was awesome, dude! That was fucking dope! Yo! If that was the ending cutscene, that was actually really, really cool. I, I, I think they kind of left it as an open story, but... Yo, that's awesome, mate! Holy crap. It's a uh, side quest. There, there's uh, side quests other than just your main ones. Uh, Solid, you were right about the cutscene being dope. That was fucking awesome, man. I just watched that was so cool. Can I actually legitimately play that, though? I can! Hey! Oh, I'm equipped in that. You know for hell I am. <laughs> How can we not? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so now we've got two last missions of Candy Valley. We've got the last Storm Shield defense, and then we have also got the time to blast off. I think technically the last mission that we just did there was supposed to be the ending right there with that cutscene. I think that's what it was supposed to be. It's supposed to be like, you know, to be continued, or, you know, like it was supposed to be open ended, like you can make your own story from there. But, uh, if the actual time to blast off mission is not the ending or at least i think what it was i think the ending that i was expecting already just happened either way though um at the end of candy valley i think we'll call it but that cutscene, regardless of where it took place was awesome i enjoyed that stand and fight tonight <laughs> that was like good old classic rock and roll i loved how that they actually made steel wool like fucking awesome that way that was sweet dude All right, ladies and gents, let's activate the storm shield. Here we go. Shield power increasing. Prepare for an attack from the south. They removed all references to Twine's story last year. They removed them. Ah, oh, that kind of blows. Yeah, they probably meant for Twine to be the ending, and then they, like, just, instead of, like, referencing it, they just kind of, like, wrapped it all up in Candy Valley and rushed it. That's what I'm guessing. Because, you know, if you, if you show nothing of the future and just kind of leave it open-ended, then you can say that, yeah, this is the ending. 
it kind of sucks when things get rushed like that, but I will say this is it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot more shittier than it was. I will, I will at least give it that. Yeah, because they were about Ramirez's family. Well, yeah, because uh, Ramirez, um, she was at the very beginning of the game, and that was it. In fact, she was the only character other than your characters that you play as now, because now I can play as whatever character I want. It's like, you know, I can play whoever. But uh, Ray was the only and the first character that you were forced to play. That's what I thought the story was going to be like. I thought you were forced to play other characters. I didn't know you were going to play as your own. At least in the storyline. Why am I shooting? I should just be saving my ammo. I like how they're all just coming from this one area in particular, too. And just, like, these traps are just enough to kill them. <laughs> Uh, Loms, were you in the lobby, buddy? We have a break in the or did you have to go? Another wave coming soon. I can't hear him anymore, so I think he had to go. Prepare for an attack from the west. Okay, now we've got B. Thanks for that solid. You know what, if that was the ending cutscene, I will at least say this, is that, for what's worth, a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I, th I will say this, though, I think Hyrule Wars did have the better ending, though. At least we'll put up uh, airstrikes and hover buddies. That that's something I can do. That will be easy. They might add uh, a twine story at some point. I hope they do. That'd be kind of nice if they could have it. I mean, we did uh, do uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC. There's nothing stopping us from doing DLC on any other games in the future. It doesn't have to be just the base game. If there's enough demand for it, I'll continue to play Save the World. There's the roof. Come on, use the shotgun to kill him. Ah, they're fucking breaking the house. Here, let me let me place some fucking traps down. There we go. 
I was wondering when that one house in the corner there was going to fall. It will come back. I mean, that's reasonable, yeah. I believe you. By the way, Solid, uh, I never did get to ask you, by the way, because it's been a while, mate. But how was your Christmas and your New Year's? Uh, hopefully it was well for you. Feel free to let me know how it was. Okay, I think that this is honestly the easiest one in particular. The way that this was designed with the mine shaft, this is the easiest for them to fall through and die. I love the way that this SMG looks, too. The house? <laughs> that, that, that was what it was like, was just the house. <laughs> Understandable due to quarantine, of course. Boring as fuck. I get it, mate. Did you at least uh, get some cool gifts that you want for Christmas and, you know, get this? I mean, I'm pretty sure unanimously everyone was happy to see 2020 be fucking gone. <laughs> I, I think across the board, 2020 was one of the worst years in humanity. For me personally, in particular, where the hell did you come from? For me personally, in particular, it was actually the best year of my life because I got to grow the channels. And I had a lot of uh, great stuff for me happen personally, where I grew, grew as a person. But the the good news is, though, is that we also did get rid of that year, just because the year did have some tragedy that came through. There was a double-ended stick, or a double-ended sword. Okay, now we're at C. Now, I think last second I'm also going to place some more spike traps. Make sure that th this gets their full value. Okay, I, I think that having all these spike traps back here with the... Uh, the things will do it good. Okay, there we go. That that should be fine. Double layered spike traps with the cannon should be just fine. The hell's shooting me though. We have a break in the action. Another wave coming soon. Okay, and then the center one at C. Place one more of these. Here we go, chat. Level uh, 5 out of 5. <laughs> Solid, you're just fucking building everything, and I love it. I'm gonna look back on this a couple years, and I'll be like, I wanna load up my old save file to see what happened, and there's gonna be just a giant monstrosity of what you built. <laughs> Pretty the thing that I could have either built my storm shield defense over there or over here too. I'm glad I didn't build that one because that one sank all like hard downward and it'd be very difficult for me to try to defend that one. I would like to believe. Because luckily with this way, now they have to filter underneath of there and then they gotta come through the mine shaft, so.
because now they gotta go all the way around here. And uh, that doesn't look like it's working out for them. In fact, just to be sure, I'll place two more spike traps. Because I can. <laughs> What is this gasoline doing here? It must have just been an item that I never got destroyed from when that item was there. Dude, how big is this actual world? I'm just curious. I can't really decide. I mean, it's it's pretty hefty. I mean, I could explore this desert for a while. And I love how we have our build right there on the screen. It's so humongous you can see it. It's crazy to think that this is my storm shield. Just all of that. I've only explored so much of it. Oh, you gotta love the carnage. By the way, chat, if you guys are enjoying what you see and you're new around here, definitely consider dropping a follow. It's always greatly appreciated. Let you know what I'm live streaming next. I almost just killed myself. That was sucked. I think honestly we should just leave this open the way it is so that way they filter in a better way. Like if we did this, it probably would be better. You can build, like, build traps wherever you want over there. Yeah, hi zombies. <laughs> Try to get up here if you can. Oh, that one actually almost got up there, not gonna lie. Good, good effort. There we go! And now that means, guys, we have one last mission of Fortnite Save the World on Candy Valley. Let's do this. We're going to have time to blast off. I'm so excited. Just whatever happens, though, for the ending, I just want to let you guys know is that I very much appreciate what we have done with this series. And here's hoping that all of you guys that are Fortnite fans follow me everywhere else. Because it's been very much uh, fun and I've enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Goodbye, Candy Valley. We will see you soon. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. And you have the music in the background. This is fucking cool. Alright, here we go. And level 5. And let's get the audio. No audio. Okay. Probably have audio next time. V-Bucks. Of course, you gotta appreciate the V-Bucks. More V-Bucks. We get a EMT squad and Corpse of Engineering slot. Okay. There we go. Alright. Complete blasting off. Time to blast off. Launch the rockets. Time to blast off to Twine Peaks. And we get a legendary hero of our choosing.
You gotta appreciate good music for something. Here we go, boys. Last mission. Launch the rocket. Stand and fight. We'll stand and fight. You'll stand and fight. And we stand and fight. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Launch the rocket. Ha! Oh, I'm so excited, bro. This is gonna be fucking awesome. Fortnite for all it's worth, as much as you've been a fucked up game, sometimes I very much enjoyed your Save the World portion. I played Bowery Royale for so long, and I was just like, you know what, let's just give a chance on Save the World to see what we think of it. I'm very glad I don't regret the decision to play this. The Save the World portion of Fortnite is actually really good, and there's endless content in here. Legitimately, if I ever got sick of Battle Royale, I could play the Save the World portion for a very long time. I'd, I'd be very content playing Save the World. So Fortnite, looking at from also the Save the World perspective on top of the Battle Royale perspective, very solid game. Very solid. Locate the launch pad. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where the launch pad is. There it is. Holy crap. Hmm. Start her up when you're ready, Commander. Add blue glow to begin stage one. I don't remember how much blue glow this needs. It needs three? Okay, it needs three. So I will be on the lookout then for some blue glow real quick. Twine takes the weight. It's time to uh we uh hold up one moment. Let's find that launch pad. We've got Buckeye 320 uh two zero. Hey Buckeye, welcome to stream, man. It's always good to have a new viewer around here. Thank you for tuning in. Uh as for your question, I see you say, can you help me with MSK? Uh I do not know what MSK is, so if you could clarify that acronym for me, that'd be a very much appreciated, mate. But good to always have a new viewer. Welcome to the stream, mate. Good to have you. And we've also got Licker in here. The rocket is sexy. Thanks, Licker. Oh, and Buckeye Fall. Thank you, Buckeye. Thank you for the follow. May you just help us get closer to 200 followers. Uh, the Mythic Storm King. Uh, see, see, the thing is, you're asking the wrong guy, mate. Um, I just beat the normal Storm King today. <laughs> uh, my friend Solid Quest over here, he's been helping me out throughout the whole entire game. You know, alongside my other followers as well. My followers have carried me, kind of, uh, in a sense, throughout the whole entire series. I literally just beat the original Storm King today. So, if anything, I'll be underpowered and I'll be handicapping you, mate. Sorry. You're asking the wrong dude. But uh, if you ever want to end up uh, watching my other streams and playing any other games on the future with me that I am appropriate power level for, then definitely feel free to stick around, mate. It's up to you. I always enjoy good company. Where the heck is Blue Glow? Okay, there, there's legitimately Blue Glow. Okay. Yeah, but just Buckeye, just stick around. See if you like me, see if you like the chat, see if you like the game, and uh, we'll just have some fun, mate. Uh, okay, it's underneath here. Alright, and boop. Okay, and there's two more up ahead. Can I join? Uh, well, here's the thing, Buckeye, is that uh, I want to let you know this right now, mate. With me and my viewers, um, we've been playing this since August. We've done the original story from scratch. Uh, we didn't we didn't skip ahead or anything. But um, basically, we look at Twine Peaks as a bonus world, and really the Candy Valley storyline is like the end of the main storyline. So we're actually legitimately going to be ending my Save the World walkthrough after this very last mission, and then we're going to be moving on to another walkthrough game. So... I would play normally, 
uh, at, at least uh, right now, I'm actually ending it. Nothing stopping me, though, from playing this again in the future or even in my free time, so I'm not going to say never. But uh, at least a break would be uh, appropriate right about now. So this is what I recommend to you, mate. You can take this for what it is. But yes, uh, after this mission, I'm done with Save the World for a while because it's basically like the end of the main story and I will be taking at least a very long break and I'll be doing other walkthroughs and just other games in general. For the sake of context, me and my followers kind of agreed on that. But the good news is though is that there's nothing stopping me from just playing my free time when I'm bored or ever going back to in the future. And also in general, man, you can always just feel free to just stick around to see what you like. Maybe we might find some other games together. It's up to you, mate. Like I said, always enjoy the company, so... It's up for you to take it as you wish. We'll stand. I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head all, all day now. You realize that, chat? We stand. It's actually a really good song too. It's just unfortunate that uh, not a lot of people will have that song. We stand and fight tonight. How was that bang? Guess someone, fuck, someone fucking okay. dropped something. John, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't know what that was. Uh, but uh, Buckeye, feel free to let me know how your day's going, mate. Feel free to let me know how your holidays were. Let me know how your Christmas was, your New Year's was. I'd like to get to know you. You having a good day so far, mate? Here these. Okay, there we go. I genuinely think that should be enough actually to make this uh, last. Yeah, how are you? I mean, I'm, I'm doing fantastic, man. I'm just looking forward to uh, I'm having some fun, playing some games, and looking forward to what we have uh, in the future uh, to come. Uh, Liquor says, try Detroit Become Human or Cyberpunk. Uh, well, I already do have a another walkthrough game to side on, guys. Uh, I'm going to be actually revealing that sometime very soon. The uh, first episode of that should actually be this Thursday. But uh, I definitely have heard a lot of talks about Detroit Become Human. Uh, not quite cyberpunk, but I will look into cyberpunk. I actually own a copy. It's just that uh, it's my friend's PS4 copy, and that's the, the buggy, shitty one. So uh, if I was going to do a walkthrough that, uh, that, on that one, it would have to be a next-gen one. And uh, for Detroit Become Human, that will play uh, will play eventually, just not right now. I've actually had a lot of requests for that. Five Nights at Freddy's, Amnesia, and uh, there's also a couple of other ones, but those are like the main three at the moment. Because like there's certain waves of, of content that a lot of people ask. I gotta try to figure out what people want in the moment too, as much as they just want in general. Because sometimes if uh, if I make people wait, sometimes they forget or they're like, oh hey, there's a better game, and that's kind of like what I want to do. So I want to make sure what the game that's consistently at the moment being brought up is the one that gets the walkthrough. I buy. Uh, if you gotta, if you gotta go, Buck, based off what you're typing there, it was nice to have you, though. Thank you for the follow, mate. Look forward to seeing you in the future. But if you're sticking around, definitely feel free to stick around. Uh, solid. This door kind of leads to the tail end of the rocket. I don't think we can quite get in there. <laughs> I know Solid was talking about Detroit Become Human quite a lot, actually. Shit, shit, dude, you can't even really get in there. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to activate this. Okay, here's an entrance. Okay, good, good, good. Go. 
Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, cool, you fixed it. Here we go, rocket time. Stage one is go. Get ready to fight. <laughs> Bring it on, zomb bitches. It's the end of the world as we know it. So it looks like that we gotta defend each part for about two minutes, making this about like a six minute-ish defense. Okay. Well, zombies, if you were going to kill us, uh, the time was a long time ago, back when we were underpowered. <laughs> so, I mean, literally the only time I've died ever in this series other than intentional suicide was falling off of a cliff, and that was not even really, like, your, your fault. That was kind of my own. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. You. Yoink! Yoink! Okay, right shield zombie, you gotta you gotta go bye bye. Okay, that's one rocket piece. Oh, I need another set of three. Oh, I need nine blue glow. Okay. I, I didn't know it was three sets of three. I thought it was just one set of one. Or like, or one set of three, rather. Okay, so I gotta get more blue glow then. Let me, let me get like six blue glow then. Let me get this taken care of, chat. Um, where would some blue glow be? Okay, that's the mine shaft. I do not want to go in there to get it. See, these things I never went over here to get it yet, so there's another piece. Let's go over here, chat. Let's see if we can find more blue glow. There we go. Okay, that's at least three, so that'll be enough for um, a few more. I thought that was the booby trapped one. At least this will give me a multiple of two. Come on, come on, little bitch. Get off of you. Okay, that'll be two. Okay, I just need one more then. You have done this mission twice? I legitimately didn't remember how much blue glow it took just because it was such a long time ago, mate. So, I mean, like, if, if you're giving me a little bit of a teasing moment, yeah, you gotta cut me some slack. <laughs> That's all right. All right, I got the six though, so we can get this done in a row now. <laughs> all right, chat, let's do this. We stand and fight tonight. And there's no more door there. Was it over here? Probably over here. 
Yeah. There we go. Okay, this one's taking about three minutes. Are you activating these bonuses solid, or is this just the game doing it? Two more minutes. The game? Okay, I got you. Wait, did we fail? What was that bad noise? I heard the boom boom. I got a stupid notification. I, I, I hate it when my phone prompts updates in the middle of my, my screen viewing. Like, I have my phone on there in the background to monitor my stream. And, like, when, I, and when, it, when it prompts my update my phone option... It takes up everything on the phone, and it also is where your thumbs naturally go. They, I swear to God, they lay it on purpose so you click it on accident. I've done that before at least once. The update for your phone pops up on the whole screen, and right where your thumbs go on the bottom left and right corners, that's where the options for install are. And it's like, no, I do not want to install an update. It's like, don't make it where I accidentally click it because you know people won't click it. It's like an update requires restart. I will avoid those until the day I die. Any update, unless it forces me to do it for my quality of life, I will never update. It's annoying. No more clips. Only a few more minutes, chat. I'm actually gonna pull out another gun. Pull out the normal SMG. I had like a thousand rounds left over and I'm using it my energy shotgun ammo, so. Pull out the P90 while I'm at it. Enemies nearby. God, this P90 just shreds, dude. Okay, one more stage, boys. This is it. Come on, let me put in the blue glow. Mm-hmm. Last defense, boys. This is it. Here we go. Can't stop it now. Can't stop, won't stop. Prepare for launch in T minus 348. That's only an Android on. Yeah, well, I have an Android. I don't have an Apple phone. I'm a Samsung guy. And I've never been an Apple guy. I don't have any Apple computers. I don't have any Apple um, phones. I don't have any Apple tablets. I've always been Samsung. Or Android. Or Amazon. I, it's, it amazes me how fast this gun shoots because I went from almost like 800 bullets to now about to be empty. <laughs> Solid, do you have a, uh... Oh, you have both? Oh, okay. Wait, you have two phones? Oh, you're lucky. Get to be able to pick between whatever phone you want. Oh, I guess that's what you get when you save your money. I pick between consoles. I'm like, hey, what am I... What, am I, what console am I gonna play on? 
Although, to be honest, though, I really haven't been using my PS5 and Xbox Series X at all. I've been predominantly just playing PC. But, uh, who knows? Maybe when, uh, you know, a good game comes out, I'll, uh, I'll pop on there. Or maybe I've just fully moved on to the PC Master Race. Who knows? I don't think I'll ever fully move on, to be honest. Uh... Nah, I don't want to use a scar. I'll use this. This has much more ammo. They're actually somewhat breaking through here. Fortnite is 120 frames now, uh, feels way smoother. Yeah, I actually upped my frame rate recently where it's actually unlimited frame rate on uh, my PC. But having 120 though on console is very nice for the people that do have a console version. For me now, I'm like honestly legitimately understanding the, the point of view of uh, PC. But for me personally though, my favorite thing, not even necessarily is just the fact that it's on PC, it's just the modding capability. I enjoy the fact that I can have content through the community. Because sometimes like you get much better content through there than the actual devs give. Like such as uh, IW4X, which is MW2 uh, on PC, and uh, Plutonium, which is Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 on PC. Like those are better versions of the the old call of duty classics that are not hacked and they're also being got bonus content you know like that's an example or um you know being able just to play steam and just mod things like leopard and two you know but ladies and gentlemen this is it here we go about to be about to finish fortnite 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Happy New Year, and goodbye, Fortnite Candy Valley. Woo! Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Candy Valley. I still have my PC. Oh, you never got rid of your PC? Hey, that's actually a good thing that you kept your PC, though, legitimately solid. You could probably still get used to it somewhere, even if you don't use it that much. Who knows? Maybe you might have a PC phase. You just never know one day, man. <laughs> Goodbye, Candy Valley. We will miss you. Hmm. <laughs> Although Sal will miss you a lot more based off that emote. <laughs> hmm. Outland or we don't need a soldier. Outlander, ninja, or constructor. Let's pick an outlander. Hey, this is the one guy that I wanted a while ago. That was Lagans, uh, a guy that I watched favorite character. Sweet. Worked out perfectly. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, that's a different change of look. Current main quest, Twine Peak Storm Shield Defense 1. Complete Twine Peak Storm Shield Defense 1. And then there's V-Bucks. And then there's increased building resources, capacity, helicopter slot, and gadgets. That's a much more different layout, bro. It's not, it's not chronological, it just pops up. Yeah, so I, I see what you mean now about the story ending. So which one of these is, uh, Twine? Here it is, Twine. Twine Peaks, level 70 to 160, power recommendation. Weather alert, these missions will challenge you, even the best of um, commanders. Yep, and there it is, Twine Peaks. Alright, time to open up all of our stuff and conclude, everybody. 
Yeah, so I see, I see what you mean. And yeah, there was no dialogue or anything either. Like, that's when you know the story ended because there's, like, no dialogue anymore. There's nothing, like, saying, like, hey, Commander, do this, blah, 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 you know, shit like that. It's just, it's just blank. No story. Silver. Gold. Gold. Got some last second survivors and everything there. Nice. Now I've got some mini llamas. Guys, this has been an amazing series. I'm so happy with where the series has gone. And I understand what you now mean, Solid, about how that the uh, the Candy Valley storyline is basically the ending. I had literally no idea it was going to be that abrupt. Either way, though, still a lot of fun. If anybody has any concluding thoughts, feel free to let me know. Because I, I will say this, is that the ending was very lackluster. And uh, I understand that this is a story where you kind of make it your own. Where you kind of combine everything. And uh, if we're looking at it from its main story, the main story, I think, was at its peak in Candy Valley. But the ending sucked. <laughs> In my opinion. I, I don't think the ending was really that good. I think that the Storm King fight was definitely fun. But uh, we were so overpowered that kind of made it a little anticlimactic. So that's my own fault. So I'm not going to blame it on that one. I, I'm pretty sure it would have been a lot more intense. And this is the guy that comes about skill his matchmaking, I know. But I feel like the fight could have been a lot more difficult. And also as well is that the storyline, I feel like it was very rushed like you said. You could always come back for the short DLCs. Yeah, I could always do something. I can I can might do a one off. I'd be like, hey guys, for a uh, a random point, I might do the uh, the two paged holiday DLC for a stream, and I'll play for like three hours just for funsies, and that'll be the whole thing. I could do that. Got a punching bag, melee weapon bat. That's kind of cool. I think it's just stories, just kind of something you make on your own. Like, legitimately, it is something you make on your own. I feel like you would have to piece lore and stuff like that together. Oh, I actually got Ted! Hey, what do you know? I got Ted, and he's a soldier. That That's a kind of a funny coincidence. Well, good shit, we got one of the side quest characters. And there's also, uh, the monkey in here. What do you know? <laughs> And now we've also got the ability to upgrade our characters when we eventually do go back, uh, which looks like, which is nice. <sighs> I very much have enjoyed this series with you guys. And even though technically that's the end of the main story, it's good to know we can always come back to it. I, I enjoyed that cutscene in this song. This was one of our, It was a nice to get a reward like that. But yeah, guys, this is going to be it. Finally, for Fortnite Save the World. I hope you guys end up enjoying this walkthrough. It's tremendously a lot of fun playing with you guys. And I will never forget, this is probably one of my favorite series that we have done so far. Uh, look forward to on Sunday when we play Zelda Hyrule Wars just one last time for fun on stream. Trying to unlock the secret ending. I will inevitably post a video on my YouTube channel when I do get the secret ending. Even if I'm on the walkthrough of my other game. Which will start, I believe, on Thursday. I'll probably announce it on Sunday. But uh, yeah, guys, look forward to that. This is going to be the end of Fortnite Save the World, and we're going to be looking forward to another walkthrough, and I'm just very much looking forward to celebrating the new year. Happy New Year's, guys, and I hope you enjoyed another live stream from the most unique live streamer you're ever going to see. Well done, boys. Yep, but we went from boys to men. Peace out, guys. Stand and fight to...